So the lift holds 13 people, 1,000 kilos, a ton of people, face masks are required, no sharing lifts with people that you're not travelling with, usual stuff. Welcome, bang, to the very nice and spacious and quite luxurious Hilton Garden Inn in Sunderland, England. Two of us are staying here for three nights on a room-only basis for the price of £240 and 30 pence, and this was booked via Hotels.com. And this looks very nice to me, so I'll talk you through what we've got. So we're here for the bank holiday weekend at the end of May 2021. Covid restrictions are coming to an end. Life is coming back online, but there are still some restrictions. So face masks are still compulsory and the room isn't getting cleaned unless you ask for it to be cleaned. So we've got a large wardrobe to the left as you walk in, ironing board, coat hangers, all that sort of stuff just there. And a stick thing there. Don't really know what that is, but hey, someone tell me in the comments. And then on this side of the wardrobe, there is more stick things. I really don't know what they are. Um, and then there is an iron, a hairdryer, and a safe, which is nice. Next to that, we've got a luggage storage rack and another ironing board. Gosh, a double ironing board. A door to an adjoining room, but that's locked, thankfully. And then here we've got tea and coffee making facilities and complimentary water, which is nice. And stuff is saying it's cleaned and sanitised, alcohol hand wipe, clean for your protection. You know the stuff that people touch, like switches and things like that. It's probably a good idea to bring uh, wipes anyway these days, just until uh, everyone's double jabbed and all that stuff. Two plug sockets on here, nice working area. Information about the restaurant, which is now open. Mirror. And uh, yeah, all good. So, this hotel is located in the north of Sunderland, right next to the Stadium of Light football ground. So if you're ever coming to watch Sunderland as an away fan or as a home fan who doesn't live in Sunderland anymore, then this is literally spitting distance of the stadium. So you can't get much quicker to get there than you would from here. Comfy chair, footstool, a little dine, dining table, coffee table. Then there's a tall standard lamp. We've got a plug socket next to the bed, which is needed. And then there's these extra safety things because this is actually an accessible room. I didn't book an accessible room, but I've been given one and I don't mind because they're always bigger than standard rooms. Um, so this is obviously a safety thing to pull in case of emergency. So if you're after an accessible room, then this is exactly what you'll get. I'm on the third floor, incidentally. Wide lifts, uh, which I'll show in the film later on, no problems for wheelchair access getting up here. Carpet's a little bit marked in place, as I can see. You see down here, there's a bit of a mess and that, so drinks have been spilled and hopefully nothing other than drinks have been spilled. But you know, we've got air conditioning, which is nice to have. Full length mirror, checking yourself out, hey. And uh, yeah, so looking good. Oh, what haven't I mentioned? Under the television, which I didn't mention, big flat screen LG TV, we've got a fridge. And in the fridge, we've got Nout. A little bit mucky there, I can see. And then there's some drawers for storage and all that malarkey. There's probably a Bible hiding in one of them, but I'm not checking. Right, let's have a look at the bathroom. So with it being an accessible room, it's obviously an accessible bathroom. So you've literally got room to swing a cat in here or a tiger, if you'd like to. It's huge. So plenty of room for disco dancing or plenty of room for somebody with a carer or wheelchair. Um, yeah, really well thought out. It's got a low sink and you get free toiletries. 
including verbena and lavender of Provence. One for the bag. Um, now, the one thing I am going to criticise Elton about, and anyone that's, that needs a, a carer to help them get on a loo or off a loo, or anyone in a wheelchair is going to look at this configuration and go, why is the sink so close to the toilet? Because that is difficult for anybody. Look how close that is now. Imagine you're trying to manoeuvre somebody and they've got to get around, the leg around there, to get sat down. That's not great, so I think Hilton, you could have done a better job with that. I'm really not sure why you've put that so close together, but it doesn't seem right to me. Other than that, it's a cracking bathroom, but I do think that that is not brilliant. Over here, you've obviously got the uh, chair so you can sit down and, uh, and have a shower, if you so wish. You've got loo roll and spare loo roll, tissues, sanitary bags, everything a boy would need or a girl, or other. And we've also got pegs for hanging stuff on, which are great, we love pegs, because we can hang stuff on them, like hanging stuff. Shaving points too. Right, I've done for now. Um, I'm gonna give some uh, more shots around the hotel, the gym, reception area, bar if we use it, etc. So I'll catch you uh, in a bit. It's a pleasure to be back, folks, in a hotel. It's been too long. The film that you've just watched is a Moss Travel Media production and you can find more like them by going to www.mosstravel.tv Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel and watching my film, it's hugely appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss. Hit the red subscribe button, when you've done that a little bell will appear. If you hit the bell then you'll also get notifications about any future travel films which I upload. If you like my travel films then you might also like my second channel which is about home and garden. Uh, please uh, have a look for that channel, you'll find it at www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk and if you like what you see please give that a subscribe also. If you'd like to connect with me as Moss Travel Media on other social media then you'll find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Moss Travel, that's the page. And if you'd like to connect with the profile, then the profile is Moss Travelog. If you'd like to connect with me on Instagram to see my travel photography, where I'm up to, what stories I'm telling, then go to instagram.com forward slash stewmoss or do a search for user stewmoss. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, I'm at Moss Travel TV. On Pinterest, I'm Moss Travel Media, which is pinterest.co.uk forward slash Moss Travel TV. On Tumblr, I'm stuartmoss.tumblr.com or just do a search for Moss Travel Tumblr. On WordPress, I'm wordpress.com forward slash view forward slash Moss Travel TV dot wordpress.com or do a search for Moss Travel Media on WordPress. And on vcontactor, you can find me by going to vk.com forward slash Moss Travel Media or doing a search for Stuart Moss. If you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue, please just email me on mosstraveltv at gmail.com. And once again, thank you for watching and for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. I wish you all the best of days, happy travels and bon voyage.